Former Macomb County Clerk Karen Spranger formally charged this morning with stealing about $1,600 from an elderly woman who was in her care. Surveillance pictures from a cash machine show Spranger taking money out, allegedly from the woman's account, without any permission. That was back in January. Jason Colthorpe is live at the Warren Police Department today. And Jason, I understand Spranger has just been released. Is that right? Sandra, she walked out of the Warren Police Department here a little more than an hour ago. And of course, police have been looking for her for the last two months to question her about the incident you just detailed. In that case, the 78 year old victim also accused Spranger of assaulting her. Now, fast forward, the Macomb County prosecutor decided to issue the warrant and the charges on Wednesday. And then just yesterday, she was spotted at the Tim Hortons at 12 Mile and Mound Road, and police arrested her. Today, Spranger saying she had no idea she was wanted. Ms. Spranger, you are in court for a felony arraignment. You're Karen Spranger, the former Macomb County clerk, said nothing as she was charged with larceny today in Warren District Court. Her attorney, who was hired by Spranger's sister at 845 this morning, says he doesn't know why Warren PD couldn't find her for two months. I was retained early this morning. I don't know what to tell you here. Uh, I, I, all I know is what I've spoken or what I've heard from the sister. Really and truly, where the breakdown came, I can't tell you. Police say the illegal cash withdrawals happened in January, and when the 78-year-old friend of Spranger confronted her, Spranger pushed her down in a parking lot, leaving her afraid to report it to police. It's quite a fall from grace for Karen Spranger, who just more than two years ago pulled a major political upset and had become the newly elected clerk in Macomb County. What she's been through would be difficult on anyone. And so when they talk about a difficulty of getting my client to come in, you kind of have to put yourself in her shoes a little bit. This has been a very excruciating experience for her, I'm sure. Now, nobody's disputing that domestic violence incident part of it. Police certainly are backing off of it. However, she was not charged with that today. We're going to have so much more uh, on this coming up at 5 o'clock. Sandra. Yeah, and Jason, you know, we know her stint as a clerk was controversial, but does she have any history of anything like what she's being charged with here? Not really. She had a, a, dry, a moving violation with a car, and then, but she also in 2004 had a uh, retail fraud charge against her. We don't know the details of that, but uh, kind of in the ballpark, I guess, if you will, compared to what this was. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll be following it. We'll see you tonight at five. Thanks, Jason. Yeah.